DIY three. So we're going to do a bit of reading today. So we're carrying on with our Hodgehead section and we're on chapter three, section two. So I'm going to do a bit of clarifying of words. And then what I would like you to do is pause each section and you're going to read the bit that's on the page for me. OK, so I'm not going to be reading anything to you today. You need to be reading today. because Remember, this is our reading and I'm not reading the whole point is, is you reading, not me reading to you. So a word that we would like to clarify is recalled, recalled. You say it, well done. So if you recalled something, it means you remember it. If you recall something from your memory, you're trying to remember it, okay? So what I would like you to do, have a quick pause of this and you're going to read this section for me, okay? And then when you're ready to, you can unpause me and we can go on to the next section. So. Welcome back if you pause me and then ready to go on to the next section. So before you start reading this section, I just want to clarify some words first. OK, so we've got concern, concern. You say it. Well done. If you have a concern, you are worried about something, something doesn't you, you you're not quite happy with something and something is worrying you very much. Next word deserted. You say it deserted. Well done if you manage to say it. So if something is deserted, it means that there's no one there. It means that literally no one's there. You're walking, if you go down like a deserted street, there's no one on the street other than you. Daisily, daisily. So if you do something daisily, it means that you do it in a confused way, okay? You're very confused. You don't know what's going on around you. And then the last one, echoed. Can you say the word echoed? Well done. Basically, echoed it was doing what you were doing right now. You're repeating something. So a bit like an echo when you're in an empty room and you say something and it says, and when um, the echo says it back to you, that's what it is. It's repeating itself. So again, like we did on the, on the other page, I want you to have a quick pause, read through it. It's not a race, okay? Have a read through it, okay? Make sure you're understanding. If you've got an adult to read to at home, to read it to them or a sibling that you can read to, okay? So welcome back if you paused it and read that section. And then we're going on to our last one, okay? So our word is wearily, wearily, your turn. Well done. If you do something wearily, it means you do it tiredly, okay? You're, you know, you're worn out, okay? So again, we're just going to read this last section, have a quick pause of it, read it for me. Okay, so well done if you managed to read through all those. If you want to, please feel welcome to go back, uh, go back on the video, pause it again, reread it again if you need to, okay? Because you're going to have to use this, all this reading that you've done for the next section because we're going to do a bit of a summarize. So remember, summarizing is basically retelling or telling the main bits that have happened in that section in your own words, in your own way. So we've got these two sections here. So that was section, uh, I think that was section 19 to 21. Yes, it was. So we've got section 19 to 21. So what has happened to Max? What has happened to him, okay? So where did Max go after the incident? Because remember what happened to Max in the last section with the bike, okay? And then what has happened to Max's words? How is he speaking? What did you notice about how, what happened to his, uh, to his words and how they're, um, how they're slightly different from the way that we normally speak, okay? So again, you can pause this and have a go at your sheet at home, or you can go to the Byron Wood website on the Y3 page, and there is the same document there that you can um, print this out from, okay? So either one, I don't mind, okay? So have a pause, have a go. Okay, and then we're on to this last section. So what did Max find, about, find out about crossing the road? So remember, was he successful in crossing the road last time? 
I think about what happened, okay? There were actually two big things, not only with the, just the bike, but with the lorry as well. So was he successful? And why wasn't he successful? Have a quick think of that. So, and what, so, and then this basically was, in, what do you think Nath was successful or not with crossing the road? And what do you think he might possibly do? I'm gonna write this on, okay? What do you think? What do you think Max will do now? Okay. So again, have a pause. You've got your sentence starter here. So in this section, we found out about, okay, think about how he crossed the road. Was it successful or not? Why wasn't it successful? Or why was it successful? And what do you think Max will do now? So pause, have a go. Brilliant. Okay, so welcome back if you've had a pause and you had to go that by yourself. Remember to send any work, oops, there we go. So remember to send any work to me at y 3 Australia. Uh, at australiabyronwood.org. We need to be making sure that we keep up with this reading, okay? Because reading is one of our really important targets that we need to achieve, okay? And I know it's a little bit trickier when we're at home, but making sure, because we don't want to fall too far behind with the other class as well, because I know they're at a similar section to us. So do have a go. I know it's a little bit trickier, but I would love to see your work and how well you got on with summarizing these sections. Tomorrow, we're going on to the next section of this. So we'll uh, continue with this learning as well, okay? But for me, that's it for today and I will see you later. Bye.